ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਅਮਨਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡੀ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਫੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਰੂਪ ਰੂ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਈ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਈਵਨਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਗੁੱਡ ਆਫਟਰਨੂਨ ਟੂ 올 ਦ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਲਾਈਵ ਨਾਟ ਜਸਟ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਬਟ ਅਕਰਾਸ ਦ ਗਲੋਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਆਫਟਰ ਅ ਵਾਈਲ ਫਾਰ ਅ ਲੌਂਗ ਅਵੇਟਡ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਅ ਕਾਲਜ ਵਿਚ ਨੀਡਸ ਨੋ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਕਾਲਜ ਨਾਟ ਜਸਟ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਦ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਫ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਟ a very valuable and a greatly popular college and students specifically north india india students yes i am talking about canada college a college which needs no introduction the representative of the college needs no introduction but i would i would really uh, like to request and uh, firstly welcome sonia ji sonia ji thank you so much for joining us live for this session i would request firstly if you can share with us how are you doing and if you can share a brief introduction about yourself uh, with our viewers Hi Aman thank you so much for this kind introduction and thank you Pyramidy Services for organizing this uh, quick brief session about Canada and Canada my name is Sonia Dakkar and I work for Canada College in South Asia and Middle East region and I've been working with the college for past 6 year uh, 6 years and it's been a good journey so far we have had so many students from different countries and if i talk about canada it's a public institution which is located in the province of ontario and as we move ahead we'll share more information about it perfect perfect so ma'am uh, firstly uh, if we can talk about canada and how is the covid situation in canada uh, you yourself being a covid warrior would i would request if you can share some insight to the students and the parents who are watching us right now how they should be dealing with this whole situation of covid 19 that's a a very important question but it's uh, very difficult to answer this question briefly because it's a um you know a question that needs um, more discussion so as far as india is concerned the flight direct flights from india are still banned or the indian government has requested canada to relook into that though indian students are uh, finding out other ways of traveling to canada through other countries which require uh, covid testing uh, before they leave india in the transit country and also when they reach canada but yes if the students are fully vaccinated uh, they need not do the quarantine in canada and there is a list of vaccines that are approved as far as canadian situation is concerned uh, uh, it's improving a uh, vaccination drive is uh, full uh, in a full flow but yes uh, considering covid which is quite unpredictable nobody knows what's lying ahead in next two months because situation changes very quickly a lot of um, hopes are there that september goes uh, Uh, smoothly uh, but um, we don't know what lies ahead specifically when everybody keeps talking about the third wave so yep. all i can say is that students should stay motivated and should uh, continue their studies uh, online from their home countries perfect thank you thank you so much for uh, sharing your insight on that ma'am uh, you spoke about uh, september intake so my my next question relates to that only so how is canada college dealing with this situation of covid-19 and specifically for uh, uh, september intake is the college going to be you know uh, considering online intake are there going to be courses held at the campus so how's the whole situation for this uh similarly like september 2022 there are programs in fall 2021 also which will be hybrid delivery that is for those program students have to be on the campus for example programs like aviation programs like digital cinematography uh practical nursing these programs cannot be just delivered online so like before there are programs that will have hybrid delivery and there are programs which will be fully online remote delivery so a uh, majority of the students they actually go in business programs um, so for them it's a good uh, chance to stay safe and study from their home environment and so they will be uh, remote learning however if they're fully vaccinated and if they do get a chance they can definitely travel to canada even if the program is online they can continue that in canada so yes uh, we are uh, quite uh, positive that the students who are taking hybrid programs they will make it to canada and because many of them already have their study visa and rest of the right. students can study online perfect thank you thank you so much for uh, your insight on that i hope the viewers who are uh, listening us get 
get a better understanding on this and how they should approach September intake, specifically for Canada or college. Uh, Ma'am, the next question is for the students who are the fresh applicants, and uh, we know the whole situation of you know students uh, uh, waiting since 2020 to travel to Canada or getting their you know uh, uh, applications deferred. There are a lot of different situations which are going around, and it's more of an application centric situation at the moment. So, uh, as a fresh applicant, what do you suggest? how i should look at the upcoming intakes at canada college and uh, should i be considering january intake and should i be considering may intake for my application and also uh, you know though the situation has got a little better but like you said about the situation of wave third as well so uh, the conditional applicants there's a lot of confusion in the students so that's why i'm asking so can i apply as a conditional applicant for uh, canada or college and what conditions are accepted in that case if you can share some insight on that it would be great that's again is a very important question so the students who are planning to study in canada or canada or i think they should apply as quickly as possible rather than waiting for the situation to improve because we have been waiting for the situation to improve since march 2020 so the students who have taken uh, the plunge of studying online some of them have already completed their programs so i think if you are actually planning to study in canada now is the time to apply rather than waiting for some better time and uh, you know because of all this situation even institutions have started opening their intakes pretty early so for example for jan uh, uh, we are opening on monday which is 19th july uh, for spring also we'll open so uh, this is also to facilitate the students who are actually uh, wanting to apply as quickly as possible coming to the fact that whether conditional offers will be possible or not because of the pandemic many students have not received their ielts uh, final uh, trf many have pending semester mark sheets so yes we have uh, helped those students by issuing conditional offer letters but i'll just want to give you a heads up that you cannot file your visa on a conditional offer letter unless and until you don't meet the condition of your offer letter and provide us with the pending documents unconditional loa will not be issued and i will really request students to not go ahead and file with the conditional loa because your application will stay pending at the uh, visa office and also uh, not trying to intimidate you but it might lead to maybe sometimes rejection because there's too many files so uh, just be a little patient get your conditional loas make the payments reserve a seat and probably you might have to defer but at least you are there your your process has started yes that's that's uh, very well said ma'am and as an agency also we always tell the students that ensure that you start your process if you're not starting your process you're still waiting for the situation to get better it might delay your application opportunity way behind than other students who have already started it and sometimes a student might not be eligible also depending upon the gap years that the student holds uh ma'am moving ahead uh, there are a lot of questions in my mind but i'll quickly jump to my my next question uh canada or college needs no introduction and i've been saying that again and again but it's a fact but for the viewers who are you know uh, probably recent pass outs and there might be a lot of new aspirants seeking international education opportunity in canada if you can share in bit about canada or college the kind of program opportunities it offers and you know i know it's it's a lot to talk about but in brief the basic eligibility criteria in terms of ielts score and academics as well uh, that would be great that's again a question that cannot be answered briefly but i'll try yes. my best to keep it to a couple of minutes for all the students who are not aware of canada or college it's a public institution in the province of ontario and we have a main campus in the city of north bay which is 3 hours drive from toronto we also have study locations in toronto at mississauga brampton uh, and scarborough so there are a lot of uh, options for students because we offer approximately 80 plus full time programs we also have a small campus in the town of paris sound which is 2 hours up from uh, toronto and very close to barry and we offer practical nursing program at uh, paris sound the good thing is that we offer high demand programs like nursing and physiotherapy and respiratory therapy to international students 
which many institutions don't even open up for uh, international students and is kept for domestics. Uh, if I talk about the tuition fee, the average tuition is around 15,000 Canadian dollars, which is quite competitive and slightly less than other institutions. And if I talk about programs, we have School of Aviation, Media, Design, Business. Uh, we have programs in Environment, Health Sciences, Engineering and Trades. So there's a lot uh, to choose from both at undergrad and postgrad level. Amazing. Ma'am, uh, a quick insight of eligibility as well, if you can share that. Okay, so um, if you're planning to apply to Canada or college, the admission criteria is very simple. All you have is um, all you need is a minimum of 50 to 55 percent in your latest academics. So if you are um, a school pass out, that is your 12th uh, grade student who want, is wanting to apply for a diploma or an advanced diploma. All we need is a passport, your grade 10th and 12th mark sheet and your IELTS. So if you have not uh, given IELTS, we also accept PTE, Duolingo and TOEFL. The required scores are available on the website. And if you are a postgraduate student, uh, we need your 10th, 12th graduation. And of course, a minimum of 50 to 55% in all your academics or whatever IELTS, uh, English proficiency exam you have given, which can be IELTS, PTE, Duolingo, TOEFL. Uh, if you have all these documents, you're more than welcome to apply to us through our partner agents like Pyramid. And if you have any work experience, those work experience certificates would definitely help. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing that, ma'am. And uh, to the students, so you can see the eligibility criteria at uh, Canada College is quite flexible. When I say flexible, it's the percentage requirement. But that doesn't mean that, you know, uh, and again, like ma'am ma said during her uh, inputs as well, not to intimidate anybody, but you need to be very very sure about, uh, or I should say, you need to ensure that your documents are in sync and you submit your documents on time. The conditional offer letter support is there at Canada College, but rest of the documents which are available and are needed should be submitted on time to get the conditional offer letter or the confirmed offer letter later on. Uh, uh, sir, I, want to add yes, one more thing. I didn't mention about the IELTS. So there are many students who end up asking uh, whether we accept um, IELTS score with the 5.5 individual bands. All I want to say right now is that the minimum IELTS criteria is six overall with each individual band six. The higher, the better. Uh, for some programs, it's 6.5 as well, especially in health and aviation. However, right. if you have an individual band in uh, of 5.5 in any of uh, the uh, listening, reading, writing, or speaking, we look into the overall profile and not just stick to 5.5 in one of the modules because basis your overall profile, we make that decision. So there is not a definite answer, yes or no, but it, the decision is made on your overall profile. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, so how, what I can say is that there is a possibility of consideration for that profile of this one module 5.5 band score in IELTS, but the decision will vary depending upon the overall profile yeah. and the credibility of that profile. Perfect. Uh, ma'am, uh, one of the last question uh, for this, this brief interaction that I have is, uh, which is the most important question for the parents primarily in India, that's the fee structure. So if you can share what the average fee structure for a student uh, for the undergraduate programs and the graduate programs. Specifically for uh, Indian students, the uh, return on investment is very essential. So I'll, uh, you know, talk in that uh, aspect, how much you spend and how much uh, return do you, or do you get from this education. So as I said before, the average fees is around 15,000 uh, Canadian dollars. That is for one year, you pay 15,000 uh, to Canada College for your tuition and it includes health insurance. Uh, um, now what you get, I mean, in terms of uh, your final job opportunity. So students are very particular about doing their part-time as well. So students who on their study permit, they get a permission to work for 20 hours per week. So the minimum wage in Ontario is about 14 Canadian dollars and uh, the students, they work for about 20 hours per week. Not all students, if they really want to do, they can. So 14 hours per week, they uh, work and you can probably uh, make around... Uh, 
if we look into the minimum wage students end up making about 800 to 1000 dollars if they want per month if they work and they study also uh seriously and when you get your final job opportunity the minimum is 14 and it can go up to whatever um you know uh, skills you have and what area you are in depending upon their job so students get packages starting from 40000 uh to 45 50 60 i've also seen going up to 70 75 80 depending upon what program you have pursued whether you have any previous work experience or not so uh, seeing the investment, which is uh, 15 for a PG student, if they're doing only one year PG and for a diploma student, $30,000. And when they earn their part-time as well, and then when they get their full-time job, it's a pretty good uh, return on investment, um, which they are kind of able to make in one single year. If they are quite a dedicated student in terms of their studies as well as their work, but we always suggest students to focus on uh, work, uh, focus on their studies and not just keep thinking about their part-time work because if they have done their uh, program, you know, seriously, uh, they are going to grab good, good opportunities. And also, if you look at the KPIs of Canada College, the student uh, success rate is about 74, 75%, which is indicative of the fact that the students who don't take their studies seriously and they don't attend classes or don't do assignments, they fail. So this is not for intimidation. This is just to let the students know that if you are choosing Canada, you have to be really serious about your study. Perfect. Very well explained, ma'am. Um, you, you said it the right way. That is the return on investment is the key here for the students in India and also the parents who are uh, out here in India thinking about sending their students to abroad for international education. Uh, so I'll not take more time from you, ma'am. I would like to thank you for this uh, amazing opportunity for us and the viewers to, to share the insights about Canada College and to the students who are watching us. If you have any further query you want uh, to get your profile assessed specifically, we are available at our offices. Pyramid e-services is spread across 10 regions of this country. And uh, if you have any further query, we'll be happy to help you out. And but but before you before we leave for this session, it's a request from our end. When you are planning to visit us or anywhere, please make sure that you carry around only those people who are the decision makers so that there is limited crowd. And we can also spend more time with you because, you know, if there are tens of people coming in the office, we are also having a worry that there should not be too much of a crowd, which goes against the, you know, rules and regulations set by the central and state government uh, in regards to COVID-19 restrictions. So uh, on that note, uh, let's hope this, this pandemic ends soon. That's what we can say. And let's hope that we connect and get back to our normal lives. And thank you so much once again, ma'am. Thank you so much for this amazing session and valuable information. Thank you so much, Amin, now for this quick session with very important questions. And thank you, Pyramid, for your support.